Hey guys, today Jay Freeman released Cydia Store in Cydia. And Jay Freeman was the one that wrote the city application and invented the city installer. And today he released the Cydia Store. It is just inside Cydia. But the difference is um, you can actually buy apps inside of Cydia now. They actually sell some apps. It's starting to be, it's trying to be a um, competitor to Apple's app stores you probably know of and all you have to do to get the city store is just upgrade your city if you haven't gone into city lately go in and you should get a city entire the city package update and should ask you to update and everything so just update to that and then you'll be able to use the city store and the prices for the applications are really similar to Apple's app store there's only one paid app that I know of on here right now, and as you can see right there, right in the middle, Syntac, free, first paid app, and it was actually released today, this morning. This morning it wasn't actually out, it was just recently released in the last couple hours. So, it's actually a pretty cool idea, really trying to get out there and trying to beat Apple. Maybe not beat them, but just at least be some kind of competitor. So, we can look at it right here, Syntac, first city of package. And as you can see right there, DRM free, guys. It's really nice. Okay. No digital rights management. Okay. <clears throat> as you see right here, you can purchase the package right there. And if you see up on the top, it actually does say purchase instead of just install. And I'll just give you a brief overview of what the app is. The app is, it's like contacts. It's your contacts, but with pictures. So you can scroll through and find pictures. And... This is a really small app that would normally be free, but he just wanted to try it out, have something in there that you can buy. And like he says down here normally, um, for such small um, packages, in the future, his plan is to um, keep it free, but for this one, he just wanted to make you pay for it, he just wanted to try it out. And a really neat way, the way you purchase these, you don't use your Apple ID or anything, you actually can go in here and sign in like I, I just signed in <clears throat> you can sign in through Facebook or through um, Amazon no Facebook or the Google account and as you can see I'm signed in right up there and that's how you purchase through it so I'll just, I'll just go through a basic one I'm not gonna do it right now for you guys but you can go in here and hit your security limit so no one can like steal your information and buy thousands of dollars worth of applications in here. So I'm just going to put $10 down. Done. Pay a dollar now. And then you log on to Amazon also. I'm not sure what the point of logging on with Facebook or Google is, but basically you just log on through Amazon and you can purchase it through that way. So guys, this is about it. It's a city of store, and I think just about anybody that writes an app can go up here, and if they have it hosted through uh, Mod My iPhone or iSpazio, places like that, I believe that anybody can make a paid app and receive money for it. I want to say I was reading it before you get a little um, news, you get a little interview about it and a little article about it here. I believe that he said... He's doing the same thing as Apple. All he's getting from other people's is um, 30%. So that's pretty good. If you sell a dollar app, you get 70 cents for it. And if you're selling a lot of them, that, you can make some really good money that way. Cause over 1.7 million iPhones have been jailbroken. So guys, here you go. You can check it out in Cydia, upgrade, and go support Jay Freeman. Bye.